So I've had the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 for about three weeks now, and I am definitely impressed. They bring some serious performance and features to the already overcrowded sub $200 true wireless market. So can they stand up to the competition? In this video, I'll be giving you all my thoughts as well as comparing them to some of the best earbuds around that $200 price point. As always, there will be links to all the products down in the video description. So let's jump into it. So let's start with the Bluetooth connection. Now the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 are featuring Bluetooth 5.3 with LE Audio, AAC, SBC, and LHDC 4.0 as their connection codecs. While the Buds Pro 2 are compatible with both iOS and Android devices, you will need an Android device that supports LHDC to get the maximum benefits of the technology that is included here. Unfortunately, iOS still does not support LHDC or any other high-res codecs for that matter, so this feature is only for your Android devices at this time. Now, the Buds Pro 2, they also feature Google Fast Pair, which makes pairing incredibly painless with compatible Android devices. You get that prompt that pops up, they pair very, very easily. Now, when it comes to Bluetooth range, I managed to get 36 feet or just under 11 meters. Now, this is always gonna vary depending on how many walls or obstructions you put in between the earbuds and the device that they're connected to. Another feature that was included here is the fact that these do offer single usage mode. So you can use each earbud individually while the other one is charging in its case. And you also maintain the ability to use both active noise cancellation or transparency mode with single earbud in use. So very, very handy. But please note that the music will pause if you have ear detection activated. So, you know, if you pull them out and normally they don't stop playing music, ear detection, that's going to automatically pause. So just something to keep in mind. Now, the Buds Pro 2 also feature multi-point connectivity for up to two devices. And so far, the multi-point feature has worked very well with all of my devices, including my iPad Pro, my iPhone 14 Pro Max, the OnePlus 11, and the Pixel 7 Pro. So let's move over to watching videos and mobile gaming. The Buds Pro 2 have minimal latency when watching video or when playing games, thanks to its use of Bluetooth 5.3 and LE audio. Apps like YouTube or Netflix work perfectly, no issues with lag or latency whatsoever. Now for gaming, there is a dedicated game mode for minimal latency on games like Call of Duty Mobile, with OnePlus claiming as low as 54 milliseconds of latency. Now, I'm not a top tier Call of Duty mobile player, so that slight latency doesn't really affect my gameplay at all. But I wanna make sure that you're aware of those limitations. If you really despise any little bit of latency, then you might have to stick to some wired earbuds. But for the rest of us, these will definitely do an excellent job. And for casual gaming, latency is gonna be completely a non-issue. Now, one of the most important questions that comes up on any set of earbuds is whether or not they are comfortable. Now, the overall shape and size remains pretty much the same as what we got with the OnePlus Buds Pro first generation. So overall, still very good, very comfortable for my ears. So no issues there. For my own ears, the Buds Pro 2 are lightweight and very comfortable. So I didn't experience any sort of discomfort, ear fatigue, or anything like that, even after hours of usage. They have a very lightweight feel in my ears, very similar to what we get out of the Apple AirPods Pro. Now, another question that I also get is whether or not these earbuds are good for workouts or sports. And so far, grip has been very good for me, but this will inevitably depend on your own ears and your own individual ear shape. Now, during my walks, I haven't experienced any slippage and I didn't need to readjust them at all. Now, OnePlus does include three sizes of their antibacterial silicone tips in the box. And those included tips, they worked well enough, but I went ahead and swapped mine out with a set of these SpinFit CP1025s that you see right here, mostly for the improved comfort and improved seal. This is just a personal preference of mine. Some people prefer foam, I prefer silicone. That's just how I roll. In addition to this, the Buds Pro 2 also feature an IP55 water resistance rating, so there's not gonna be any issues with sweat or having any water splashed on them. So as far as workouts go or sports, these are an excellent option for you. Now that's gonna bring us over to the question of sleep. This is another one where user experience is going to vary based on your actual ears. Now for me personally, the Buds Pro 2 actually works surprisingly well for sleep. Based on their size and shape and the way that they actually fit into my ears, I was able to use these very comfortably for both back and side sleep. And then with the inclusion of their Zen Mode Air feature, it basically helps me relax by playing soothing white noise or nature sounds. I actually prefer the Iceland sound and use it to help me relax when I need to wind down after work. So for me, the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 are an excellent option for sleep. 
And then last but not least, that's gonna bring us over to bodyborne noises. And that's basically, when you have the earbuds in, can you hear your footsteps and heartbeat and things of that nature? It is noticeable just like it is on pretty much all other sets of earbuds that plug your ears, especially when you use them in normal or transparency mode. But it can be reduced noticeably when you turn on that active noise cancellation. So with that out of the way, let's get into the actual controls of the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. And they are featuring squeeze controls. So not touch controls, but squeeze controls right on the stems. Overall, the controls are actually quite responsive and very easy to use and easy to learn. They do support a single squeeze, double squeeze, triple squeeze, as well as a one second long squeeze and a three second squeeze. The uh, double squeeze and triple squeeze commands can be customized or shut off completely via the Hey Melody app or the built-in Bluetooth menu on OnePlus devices. You also have the ability to customize the controls based on either side. And then last but not least, you also have ear detection for automatic pause that can also be toggled on or off on OnePlus devices. Now, speaking of customization, that is gonna bring us over to the app support. Now, the Hey Melody app is available on both iOS and Android devices. On OnePlus devices, the custom options are available via the Bluetooth connection settings. All right, so as you can see right here, I've actually got a multi-point connected to both my OnePlus 11 and to my Pixel 7 Pro. This way you can see both sides of how this app can look for you. So as I said before, on the OnePlus 11, it's built into the Bluetooth settings. And then on the Pixel 7 Pro, you use the Hey Melody app to access all of these settings. So when you open up this app, you are greeted with the battery levels of the earbuds. Now below this, you do have your noise control, and that's where you have your noise cancellation, your off, and your transparency. Now, let me go ahead and pop them in so we can see the different levels. So as you can see, it's switched over to transparency mode. We can go back to off, or we can go into noise cancellation mode. And with noise cancellation, you get the different options. So you have smart, and that is your adaptive mode, and that's where it can automatically adjust based on noise levels, max, moderate, and mild, depending on which level you want to use. Then you have your personalized noise cancellation right there. So you've got that option as well take them back out of my ear so I can hear myself talk once again. So we go back down here and you get the Soundmaster EQ. Now this is where you get your custom EQ here. So you got the Hans Zimmer Soundscape, Balanced, Bold, Serenade, and Bass. These are five presets built right into it. My personal favorite is the Balanced and Default. There's Bass Wave right here and that's to dynamically boost the bass to deliver a deep bass with clarity and fidelity. That's a pretty cool setting. I actually prefer the bass preset over this, but it's an option. Below that, you do have your custom EQ. There's my Hefe EQ. So as you can see, there is my curve. You can see that right there. So if anybody wants to replicate it, go ahead and knock yourselves out. You can save those right to that. So back and out of here. Below this, you have golden sound. So basically golden sound is a personalized EQ. It's gonna do a canal scan and it's also gonna to play tones for you so you can basically dial in a customized, personalized EQ automatically. It's actually pretty dope and it works surprisingly well and it takes less than three minutes. One of the fastest ones that I have experienced. Overall, I truly like my own personalized sound. It's very, very good. Now, below this, we have the Zen Mode Air. This is what I was referring to where it plays white noise. You do have five different options right there and it saves that sound to the earbuds themselves and it can be activated via a long three second squeeze on either of the earbuds. Now, below this, you've got the gaming mode toggle. So you can toggle on gaming mode if that's what you wanna do. Below that, you've got your dual connection and that's what's gonna handle the multi-point connectivity. And then below this, you've got the earbud fit test to make sure that you're getting a proper seal. And below that, you've got your firmware updates. And then moving one over, you've got the earbud controls. And this is where you can go ahead and make those changes to the different earbud controls left or right side as well. Now, for a couple of other differences on the actual earbud controls on OnePlus, you're gonna see that here. So you've got a high res mode that plays in uh, audio in high resolution. You've got golden sound just like the other, but you also have spatial audio controls here with the OnePlus device. You have off, you have fixed, and you have head tracking. Now, I'm not sure why this isn't available in the app to use with other phones. I guess they're locking this into the OnePlus ecosystem. I don't think that's too cool, but I mean, it is what it is, but I wanted to show you the difference here based on the menus that are specific to the OnePlus device. So earbud controls, once again, you'll see that right here with in-ear detection and camera related settings. So you can actually take photos with the earbuds and that's pretty much it right there. But yeah, just throwing that out there. 
Now I mentioned this stuff because I want you to be fully aware of the differences between using the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 on a OnePlus device versus using the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 on say an iPhone or on a Pixel 7 Pro. Just wanted to kind of give you those differences. So now let's move over some of the actual performance of the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. So let's start with that battery life. Now OnePlus was claiming nine hours on a single charge with 30 hours in the case for a total of 39 hours. Now these are usually best case scenario situations. So I went ahead and tested these claims for myself. Now in my own testing, I managed to get six hours and 46 minutes with noise cancellation turned on and eight hours and 42 minutes with noise cancellation turned off. All of my testing was done at 75% volume using the LHDC codec. So in my personal opinion, we are getting excellent battery life with the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. And then when it comes to charging the earbuds, if you do manage to run them down, you can drop them back into the case for 10 minutes, and that's gonna give you an additional three hours worth of playback time. So we do have fast charging on board here. Now, charging the case does come via USB Type-C right here and wireless charging. So you have both options with the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. So now let's get into the active noise cancellation or ANC. Now the ANC works very well in my testing, very strong. Now OnePlus is claiming up to 48 decibel reduction in your ambient sounds. So far the active noise cancellation has been excellent in my own testing. Now I use both 75 decibels of crowd noise and 85 decibels of airliner cabin noise and the Buds Pro 2 did well against both types of noise. I was definitely impressed here. In addition to this, I also didn't experience a bunch of that cabin pressure type of feeling with the Buds Pro 2, even on the maximum active noise cancellation setting. And I also really did like that smart adaptive ANC option that adjusts itself to one of the three ANC levels based on environmental noise levels. So if I was outside, it would move them to one certain position, or if I had a bunch of noise going on in the house, it would adjust itself up to mild. So very, very good. And it actually um, responds quite quickly to those changes. And then last but not least, I didn't experience much noticeable EQ shift while switching ANC on and off. So that is another plus. And if you don't know what EQ shift is, EQ shift is basically when you turn on noise cancellation and the sound changes, and then you turn it off and it goes back to a different type of sound. We see that on headphones and earbuds on the OnePlus Buds Pro 2, didn't experience that. Now, if you're getting any value from this video so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button for me. It's free for you and it helps the channel greatly. Also, I got a few more comparison videos on these earbuds coming soon, so you definitely don't wanna miss out. So now let's talk about the transparency mode. Now the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 offer excellent transparency performance. Now this came as no surprise considering how well the OnePlus Buds Pro, the first gens did with transparency mode. Not a huge improvement over the previous version, but still very good nonetheless. Sadly, they are still outperformed by the second generation Apple AirPods Pro, but it's not by much. I wholeheartedly believe that with some tweaks, these can match or surpass the second gen AirPods Pro for transparency mode. Assuming of course that OnePlus is willing to continue to update and improve these on a regular basis. Now the transparency mode here sounds more natural and less processed when compared to many other True Wireless earbuds at this price point. Now something that I would love to see added here to bring even more value and performance would be a slider or levels of adjustment for this uh, transparency mode. I'd love to see that. So you can dial it up or turn it down, whichever you prefer. Now let's move over to the volume. The OnePlus Buds Pro 2 in my measurements managed to get 121 decibels of peak volume, and that qualifies as dummy loud. Now, basically what I mean by dummy loud is basically that you're a dummy if you're listening to these at maximum volume. But yeah, they get very, very loud and they're gonna have a lot of you volume junkies totally, totally covered. For me, comfortable listening comes in about 50 to 65%, but that is just me personally. More than loud enough for most people. So now, before we move into the sound quality section, the shirt that I'm wearing right now is a new design created to honor Paloma, my wife who passed away a few months ago. Now, Paloma was the most amazing woman and wife I could have ever asked for, and she supported my YouTube journey more than anyone else. She was also very proud of my work with Beats for Hope to support local food banks over the past couple of years. So I want to honor her memory by donating 100% of the proceeds from the sales of this merch design to the Alameda County Community Food Bank. And if you would like to help, please check out the links in the video description, we have tees, lady shirts, hoodies, all of that is available. And it all goes towards putting food on the table for local families in need. So thank you so much for your time. 
Now, when it comes to sound quality, OnePlus definitely stepped it up for the Buds Pro 2 this year by partnering with Dynaudio. Not only did we see an improvement in the hardware with the addition of dual drivers per ear, but also in the tuning and software, not to mention personalized sound and spatial audio. So let's go ahead and start there. Now, the Buds Pro 2 use a canal scan as well as a quick hearing test to measure your hearing levels. And those measurements are used to create a custom EQ profile perfectly tuned to your hearing. This is similar to what we've seen from Soundcore, One More, and a bunch of other brands. For me, it created a warm, rich, spacious sound that definitely took me by surprise. And then you go ahead and add in their spatial audio and the experience enters a whole other dimension. You get both fixed and head tracking options and both of them work surprisingly well. The spatial sound is surprisingly good, especially with live recordings or music that's mixed in Dolby Atmos. Truly puts you in the middle of a live recording or a live performance. Now, the combination of both personalized EQ and this spatial audio has to be experienced to truly be understood. But let's go ahead and break down the actual sound. So first, let's start with the bass. Now, these feature excellent sub bass extension and rumble. OnePlus using dual drivers really gives the Buds Pro 2 the ability to dig real deep with that bass response. You can also use the bass EQ preset or you can activate the bass wave feature to pump it up more as needed. Now, I personally didn't need to do either because the bass is perfect right out of the box in my opinion, but all that to say that these will satisfy any and all bass heads. They have you covered. Now, some of the test tracks that I used for testing the bass response were Jill by Trey Songs or On and On by Erica Badu. Both of these tracks truly showcase the strength and cleanliness of the bass here. If you are part of my bass head crew, then these songs definitely belong in your playlist. Now let's move over to the mid-range. So these offer a smooth mid-range with a nice touch of mid-bass to give it more warmth and fullness. It's a rich sound that lends itself nicely to vocals as well as live instruments. The mids are more forward with my custom EQ, so I use the balance EQ for most of my testing. One of the test tracks that highlights the strengths of the mid-range is Dreams by Fleetwood Mac. The live drums, the guitars, along with Stevie's sweet vocals are something you have to listen to for yourself with these earbuds. And then last but not least, we have the treble. And the treble is crisp and clear with no sibilance or harshness whatsoever. You can easily boost the treble with EQ if you wish, but it's completely not necessary, at least for my own enjoyment. With or without spatial audio active, the Buds Pro 2 have excellent soundstage and good stereo separation. But when you activate spatial audio, you get much more depth in the sound and it pulls the vocals in closer, creating a much more intimate listening experience. Now, one of the test tracks that I used to test the treble was Suavecito by Malo, which really showed how well the treble tuning can shine. If you don't have this Feed Me Oldie in your playlist, what are you, what are you doing with your life, man? So you gotta, you gotta put that in the playlist ASAP. Now, if I have to give OnePlus any constructive criticism on the OnePlus Buds Pro 2, firstly, it's gonna be the fact that they still don't have volume control on the earbuds themselves. Like this is something that I brought up when I did my original review of the OnePlus Buds Pro and it's still here. Now this is something that they can definitely add in because you have customizable controls. Give us the option to control volume via the earbuds. Please put that option in to those earbud control customizations. Let's, let's go ahead and bring that to these earbuds. And then secondarily, I'm really not a fan of manufacturers locking in features to specific devices. We see this with Apple, we see this with Samsung, now we're seeing this with OnePlus. I'm not a fan of this. Just, I, I need to put this out there. I need to say this. Hopefully OnePlus hears me. I get why they do it. I'm just not a fan of it, right? So I feel like the spatial audio on these should be available to anyone who buys these, regardless of what device that they are using. So this is something that I hope that they release to whoever buys these. These come in at about 179 MSRP as of the making of this video. And for that kind of money, there are other earbuds on the market that you can use spatial audio regardless of what device you're on. So this is something that I hope they'll do. I doubt it'll happen, but I just wanted to speak my piece here. Now, one of the most commonly asked questions that I got was, are the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 better than the first gen OnePlus Buds Pro? The answer to that question is yes. For sound quality, noise cancellation strength, and spatial audio. But to be clear, this doesn't make the first gen OnePlus Buds Pro bad, not at all. 
they are still one of my favorite earbuds. So if you don't need the latest and greatest from OnePlus, then the first gen OnePlus Buds Pro at a discount are still an excellent purchase in 2023. And then the second most asked question was whether or not the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 were better than the Oppo Enco X2. In my opinion, the OnePlus Buds Pro are better for my own personal listening, but the sound is noticeably different here. The Oppo Enco X2 are tuned much more balanced and have better detail retrieval to my ear versus the more bassy sound of the Buds Pro 2. So neither is really better than the other, objectively speaking. It will really come down to what type of sound you personally prefer. You really can't go wrong with either of these, but for me personally, I do prefer the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 for my own listening. So now let's do a quick ranking between the OnePlus Buds Pro 2, the Apple AirPods Pro 2, the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, and the Soundcore Liberty 4, as well as the Sony Link Buds S. So first, let's start with active noise cancellation. So for active noise cancellation, in first place, we've got the Apple AirPods Pro second generation. Don't mind the Pitaka Kevlar case there. Second place for noise cancellation, we've got the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. In third place, we've got the Sony Link Buds S. In fourth place, we've got the Soundcore Liberty 4. And in fifth place, we've got the Samsung Buds Pro 2 or Buds 2 Pro. So that's your ranking there. For active noise cancellation, you've got Apple, OnePlus, Sony, Soundcore, and Samsung. While all of these offer strong active noise cancellation performance, the Apple AirPods Pro still did the best job against both airliner cabin noise as well as crowd noise. The OnePlus Buds Pro 2 came in a close second though, as well as beating Sony in the process. Truly impressive when all things are considered. So now let's rank them for their transparency mode. In first place, we got the Apple AirPods Pro 2. In second place, we've got the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. In third place, we've got the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. In fourth place, we've got the Sony Link Buds S. And in fifth place, we've got the Soundcore Liberty 4. Now, this ranking was more of a battle for second place as the Apple AirPods Pro 2 have a noticeable advantage in the natural quality of their transparency mode when compared to the others. But that said, they all performed admirably and the OnePlus were neck and neck with the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. The only thing that put the Galaxy Buds over the uh, OnePlus Buds was their ability to adjust that uh, transparency mode strength. If OnePlus added that in, I think the OnePlus could have took second place here. So now let's go ahead and rank these for volume. First place, we've got the OnePlus Buds 2 Pro with 121 decibels. In second place, we've got the Soundcore Liberty 4 with 117.1 decibels. In third place, we've got the Apple AirPods Pro with 116.8 decibels. And right on their heels, you've got the Samsung Buds 2 Pro at 116.6 decibels. And in fifth place, we've got the Sony Link Buds S coming in at 115.8 decibels. Now, the numbers here speak for themselves. OnePlus have never been weak on volume, so it comes as no surprise, to me at least, that they would easily take the win here. All right, so now let's get into a sound quality ranking. Now, in first place, we've got the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. In second place, we've got Soundcore. In third place, we've got Samsung. In fourth place, we've got Apple. And in fifth place, we've got Sony. There you have it. First place for OnePlus, second place for Soundcore, third place for Samsung, fourth place for Apple, and fifth place for Sony. Now, this is the biggest upset for me personally as far as this ranking goes. The Soundcore Liberty 4 have been my go-to earbuds under $200 for months now, but they have been dethroned. The sound quality and tuning of the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 stand apart from the others right out of the box. And then you add in the personalized EQ and the spatial audio, and it puts them even further in the lead. So needless to say, we have a new king for sound quality under 200 bucks in my personal opinion. So now let's get into some mic samples for those who like to take phone calls with their earbuds. I'll be doing both quiet and crowd noise tests on all five of these earbuds so you can hear how they perform under different conditions. All right, so here we have the microphone test for the first generation OnePlus Buds Pro. So testing, testing, one, two, three. As you can see, I'm indoors in a semi-quiet room. So testing, testing, one, two, three.
All right, and here we have the microphone test for the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. So testing, testing, one, two, three. As you can see, once again, I'm indoors in a semi-quiet room. So testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, so here we have the microphone test for the Apple AirPods Pro second generation. So testing, testing, one, two, three. As you can see, once again, I'm indoors in a semi-quiet room. So testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, so here we have the microphone test for the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. So testing, testing, one, two, three. As you can see, I'm indoors once again in a semi-quiet room. So testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, so here we have the microphone test on the Soundcore Liberty 4. So testing, testing, one, two, three. As you can see, once again, I'm indoors in a semi-quiet room. So testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, so here we have the microphone test for the Sony Link Buds S. So testing, testing, one, two, three. As you can see, once again, I'm indoors in a semi-quiet room. So testing, testing, one, two, three. And here we have the first gen OnePlus Buds Pro in a simulated crowd noise environment. So something like a busy restaurant, a busy train station, something along those lines. So testing, testing, one, two, three. And here we have the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 in a simulated crowd noise environment. So something like a busy bar, a crowded train station, or something along those lines. So testing, testing, one, two, three. And here we have the Apple AirPods Pro 2 in a simulated crowd noise environment. So something like a busy bar, a crowded train station, or something along those lines. So testing, testing, one, two, three. And here we have the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro in a simulated crowd noise environment. So something like a busy bar, a crowded restaurant, or something along those lines. So testing, testing, one, two, three. And here we have the Soundcore Liberty 4 in a simulated crowd noise environment. So something like a busy bar, a crowded restaurant, or something along those lines. So testing, testing, one, two, three. All right, and here we have the Sony Link Buds S in a simulated crowd noise environment. So something like a busy bar, a crowded restaurant, or something along those lines. So testing, testing, one, two, three. As always, you're gonna have to be the judge of the microphone quality down in the comment section. Now with that out of the way, OnePlus was kind enough to send these earbuds over for this review. There was no monetary compensation involved and OnePlus was not afforded any copy approval or early access to this video prior to it being published. Now I'm telling you this because I believe in transparency and honesty with you as the viewer. As always, please be sure to watch multiple reviews before making your final purchase decision. Now, if you're interested in seeing my tier list of all the true wireless earbuds that I've tested, check out the video that I'm leaving for you right up here on the screen. With that said, my name is Hefe, and I'm out this bitch.